Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to pick up where we left off in the last video. In the last video we got this kind of working. So you can scroll through here. This is going to be an e-commerce website where somebody shell or somebody can sell clothing like shirts and jeans and stuff like that. So if we click on one of these, so we're on organic apple number zero and we can probably name that better if we want to, but we can go into main activity and we can say, hey, we'll do um, dress shirt or whatever. Kind of making this up as I go. So you can see here, we have a recycler view full of items. And if you click on one of the items, so say we click on this one right here, it's $1.99, it's a steal for a shirt, it's really good. There's dress shirt, and I forgot to put in the dollar sign. Let's do it again. Shirt, and we'll do number dollar I. So that'll put in the variable. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And you'll see if in this, this should update. So we'll have zero, one, all the way up to 100. So if I click on shirt number 14, sure enough, it goes to this, this the details page, but it's kind of slim on details. So let's go ahead and build some functionality out. First of all, I do have something else. So I have this shirt that I photo that I want to use. So it's up here in Finder, so I'm going to copy it, then I'm going to click on the drawables and I'm going to paste it there. And this will actually paste it inside of Android Studio so we can actually use it. So let's close this and let's open up product details. And let's go, actually not product details, it's actually one of the layouts here. It is, yeah, product details right here. So if we look at this, open up the preview, you can see, hey, it's just, it's really basic, it's just text. Let's add an image at the top. So let's do image view, and then we'll just do 200 dp, 200 dp, uh, enter ID, we'll call this photo. And what we'll do is we'll do source, and then the new dress shirt we have there. So shirt, and there it is, and it just populates for us. Now we have our shirt there. So what we wanna do is we want to actually make that a little bit bigger. So let's, let's, well, see how the see how the product details text is on top of the shirt. We don't really want that. And so what we can do is we can let's do let's actually do this. So we they both have an ID. So let's do let's do uh, top bottom of photo, and that should put it down below there. Now let's add a little bit of margin. So margin top, we'll do 16 dp. That gives it a little bit of spacing. We'll make the text color is already black. So I noticed that it's a little bit off white. Like look at her dress shirt there. You can kind of tell there's a box around there. The rest of it is not quite right. So let's do this. The so background number white there. That shouldn't make it perfectly white. So let's go ahead and run that and go back to the emulator. Go back to the emulator. And as soon as this opens up, let's click on a random product. And here we go, dress shirt number four. So it's really good. Okay, now let's, let's, do, let's change some stuff. Let's do left, left, parent, right, right, parent. And then let's do top, top, parent. So we have our shirt there, and let's actually do this. Let's, we want to make the photo a lot bigger. So let's do, let's do zero DP. And that kind of, and there are a number of, like there's scale types. So we can do, oh, it fits center or we can do other ones kind of like center crop, like if it's too big, if the image is too big, then we can, how do we get rid of that? There we go. Okay, so we have our, so yeah, back to this. Yeah, there's, so there's, but I think with the one, the default is okay, and I think it's like center, fit center, I think it might be. That works for now. And we'll make it, let's just make this 300 pixels high. There we go. So there's our nice shirt. So we have a nice product picture of it. Let's also add in the pricing. So let's do this. Um, let's do yeah. We already have top to bottom up. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and link, let's go ahead and anchor something else. So left, left, parent. Um, let's create a new text view. So text view, wrap, wrap, and we'll call this uh, availability. Actually, no. Let's call this yeah. Let's change this to a button. So we have our button there, and it's called availability. So let's go ahead and, oh, it's up there. So let's do this, let's do top bottom of product name. So what this does, it says, hey, the top of this element, let's make it to the bottom of this element, which is up here. So this can be in kind of any order, but it's important top to bottom of, that's just constraint layout. That's, that's stuff I've covered in other videos also. So we need text. Text equals um, check. Um, see if 
It's available. So, whoops. Let's accidentally close that. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and export these as string resources. We'll just do the default. Here we'll do availability. So if we do command minus, we can actually see it there. So click on the string there or anything, do command minus, and it'll show you in Android Studio what it really is. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now let's add some margin to the top. So we'll copy the margin from the, from the product name and put it down to the availability here. Okay, so we have our availability here. So when somebody presses on, let's, let's go ahead and run it first of all. So let's go back to the emulator. And whenever somebody presses on, uh, whenever somebody presses on a product, touches a product, we want to, so they can see, the, sh they can see the, the, the name of it, shirt number two. But if they click this, they can see if it's available if it's available or not. So maybe it's out of stock. Like maybe you don't have any in the United States and it's coming from Russia or some other country or whatever. So, or India or whatever. So we have, so we have manufacturers who do this. So let's, let's just go ahead and create the, uh, the dialogue. So we gave it an ID. So it's, um, it's of availability. So that's our ID. So now if we come back into here, let's do availability and we see we get it accessed directly. We don't, we don't have to do the find view by ID anymore. We can just call it directly and dot set on click listener and we want this one right here um, if you do pick the other one and it looks like that you can get rid of those and just do that and that's kind of what we need and then we can access it dot and then we can do whatever but instead of here let's do something else let's display a little pop-up how about let's do alert dialog so alert dialog dot builder and then we pass in the context which is this and then we do dot set message and we'll say it it's in stock. And then we need to do dot create and then dot show. So here we go. I mean, let's, go, let's go ahead and run it and just see what's see what's going on here and see what that does. So let's get a product and we're gonna see if it's available and there we go oh it's in the stock great so it's a little nice little pop-up and this works on any product remember so we can go down to we can go to the bottom shirt number 99 or 100 let's go to 99 press on that and sure enough see if it's available yeah it's in stock now this is actually always going to say what's in stock so uh, right now we just hard-coded it to it's in stock so it's not really hooked up to inventory or anything it's just plain old text but this is how you build a little pop-up. So we have alert dialog dot builder. We pass in the context, which is going to be this. Then we have a set message. And then this can be whatever we, we can type in here, whatever we want. But the two down here, the create and show, those you always need. But there's there's more stuff you can do to this. So let's just put a dot and see what else there is. So there there are icons. There's all kinds of stuff we can use. But let's use something I was just playing around with earlier: is set positive button. And what we can do is we can say, hey, uh, we want the positive button to be OK. So, and you'll see what, what this is in just a second. So let's do object, and then we'll do dialog, let's see if I can type, uh, dialog and interface dot on, dot on click listener, and do that. And you'll notice we're getting an error here. So look under object and we're getting we're getting some red lines. So click on it and do option enter and then enter and then enter and that'll do that for us. And so basically every time, hey, every time it's clicked, we can do something. So the, it's kind of like an OK button. And every time you press it, it does whatever's inside of there. So I'm going to put my mouse over there. And Android Studio is saying this can be converted to a Lambda. So I'm going to click on there and do option enter, enter, and it makes it kind of compacts it for us. It's less code. It's easier to look at. So let's do this. Let's do, uh, actually, uh, we don't need to do anything, actually, because it'll close, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And if we look at it, and if we look at it, let's do this. So see if it's available. Yeah, it's available. We can click the OK button, and it closes it. Or we can just click away. And, it, and it's, so yeah, so it's there it is. I know what we can do. Let's do something else. Let's do... Yeah, uh, let's do, let's do, so we have our variable up here of title. So a product name, let's see, product name comes from, I think, so title equals, oh, so it's title basically. So, um, hey, we'll do dollar title is in stock, I 
think this will work. Let me think. Yeah, it's just an intent. We're passing data from the main recycler view to this product details screen here. So if I save it and run it, I wonder if this will work. We have a product name about text that equals. Let's go ahead and just let's pick a random shirt and shirt number 18. And it says, hey, shirt dress shirt number 18 is in stock. So awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. But hopefully you learned something and hopefully uh, you can apply this to whatever app you're kind of building. And I'll see you in the next video.